Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my August bullet journal setup. I know it's been a while since I shared any bullet journal videos, but this week I am away on holiday when you're seeing this, so I'm actually hoping this goes up. I've scheduled it to go up. Let's hope it does. Uh, but yeah, I'm currently away when you're watching this and I'm camping. So I thought this month's bullet journal theme would be kind of along the camping theme or the outdoors theme so i basically just went on to pinterest and i took a lot of inspiration from lots of different pictures that i saw on there i did decide to do a monthly calendar this month i don't usually do it because i have got kind of a 12 month calendar at the beginning of my bullet journal which i use a lot but i did want to put one in for this month and it's just going to be a really simple calendar nothing complicated about it i just drew out boxes and i made sure that there were 31 well there's more than 31 but i made sure that there was enough boxes one for each day and the only kind of color or the only extra pen that i have bought in for this bullet journal spread is that gray crayola which you'll see kind of popping in and out and then down the side here I decided to create a this month section and here is where I can put down any goals that I want to achieve or any things that I want to get done throughout the month without having to put a final date on it. I can just list it here and know that I want to do it within the month at some point. And then I just put a few decorations down at the bottom. Again, I took a lot of interest, interest? <laughs> I took a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. And then for my weekly setups, all of the pages are going to be set up in the exact same way. So I'm just going to do this first one on camera and then the rest off of camera because like I said, it's exactly the same. Save so you guys watching me draw lines repetitively over and over again. But for me, my bullet journal, I use it every morning to write a list. I'm a list queen. I need a list to be able to function. That's like my daily routine. I have a cup of tea in the morning and I write a list. It's just how I am. Obviously, if we have an appointment coming up or something, then I can write it in as well. I don't just use it for lists. I also use it in my everyday, but to plan my week out, I normally use my happy planner. For each spread, for each weekly spread, I'm going to be doing a different drawing up at the top, keeping in the same theme of the travel and camping theme. They're all just going to be different and no color either. I've just left it as a pen drawing or pen doodle. And then I will use my Crayola pen and I create some lines at the top, which kind of does two things. It blocks up all of that empty space, so it's not just plain. And then it also gives me an area if I do want to take any notes or I've got anything to write down. I've already got kind of lines at the top there that I can just drop things down. So here I'm just going to be doing a doodle with a backpack which is still along the camping theme or travel theme and I really liked the quote that I saw on Pinterest which you'll see because I shall write it down in a moment but it just says explore the world and I don't know it just called to me so I decided to add that here and here again I'm just adding the lines so every single week is going to look exactly the same which I kind of like because it makes it look more cohesive when you're turning all the pages it's just that each doodle up at the top is different. So alive, make it last forever. Stop and time. I don't know what it is but something about drawing mountains and looking at pictures of mountains just makes me feel relaxed and calm so that's another reason that I chose this kind of theme because I know I'll be drawing lots of mountains and to me I just find them really calming if you're the same let me know down below because I may just be weird
so for my last weekly spread of August I decided to do this scene here with a tent as I see I'm going to be camping so August in my household is definitely camping month because we go camping every year in August sometimes we go multiple times so I decided to end it with a little tent doodle at the top and then flipping it over I'm going to be using this area to create like a camping list so this will be something that I can go back to and use hopefully again next year because I always write lists out and then never remember to save them for the next year but at least here it's in my billet journal and I know it's here and I can just look back and add to this and yeah just keep using it so I decided to make it look like a folded out map I will go back and make it look like a map kind of faintly in the background but I didn't do it on camera I just literally labelled each kind of section and then wrote down a couple of things. I still haven't 100% finished my camping list yet and we go tomorrow so <laughs> I need to get on that. And then for my last page in my August setup, I decided to write down a quote. I do include a quote every single month in my billet journal. And this one obviously is to do with travel and it says, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. And then I drew a couple of mountains there and some trees as well. And I just thought that the quote was really nice and it kind of suited my setup or my theme for August. And with that being said, it's pretty much the end of the video. I am going to give you a flip through of all the pages so you can see how August looks in my bullet journal. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the bullet journal video, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and you can hit the bell notification and that way you'll be notified every time I upload. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will speak to you when I'm back from my holiday next week. Bye! You got it right this time